Friends and family, all of us are a very, very foodie bunch. We revolve around food and we keep innovating, styling and more importantly, exchanging food with one another. When a dear friend or cousin of mine gives me an orange whiskey sauce, I get to thinking of innovative ways on how to use that sauce and style it up to the next level. My apple and orange crisp works on these notes on point, elevating the sauce but at the same time being true and unique to the essence of simple desserts. Fruits, especially stone fruits, are perfect to usher in the summer heat and at the same time it's decadent to enjoy. Let's get to creating it. Now we preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes and in that meantime we get to creating this apple and orange crisp. We first get to creating that crisp that goes on top and I'm going really simple, really easy and a food processor works really well out here. Creating this crisp is really simple and all you need to do is remember the ratio, more importantly, which follows a one is to two principles. So you take one part of super fine sugar or caster sugar, you take one part of brown sugar, you take one part of salted butter, frozen preferably, and you take two parts of refined flour. So into my food processor goes in 300 grams of refined flour, along with 150 grams of dark brown sugar and 150 grams of super fine caster sugar. We're just going to let this to blitz and technically you can use your hand and create sand structures. As you've allowed everything to mix really well, now comes adding in the salted butter. So, 150 grams of that going in and I've cut them into small cubes just so that it's easy to work with. You can use your hand and create the coarsest of textures. It's not too difficult. I'm just too lazy. That's why I'm putting it into a food processor. Blitz away. reminiscent playing with wet sand on a seashell. This is done and ready and now comes to the fun part of cutting the fruit. Now while I want this dessert to capture the essence of spring but the robust warmth that summer brings, I've got eight oranges cut, the skin removed, the pits removed more importantly and just cut into glorious wedges along with eight apples that we're going to cut into wedges as well. So I'm not removing the skin of the apples because I love the red color that specks here and there into this creation. So cut them into one by four, take off the core of the center and just cut them into large chunks. Now while I enjoy keeping the skin, I always believe that the skin gives it some kind of texture and it's great, great fiber for you. So, and more importantly, it just makes the overall thing look so pretty with all the colors coming alive and little specks of red here and there. While I've used apples out here, you can use pears, you can use a mix of pears along with peaches, you can use various different styles just to create this crisp. While working with apples, you always have to work fast so that they don't begin oxidizing and turning brown. There's nothing more horrible to look at than brown apples. So with everything in, into this you add the rind of one orange along with some super fine caster sugar, about three tablespoons of that, just to give it a light, light coating. And a quick toss out here. While the acidity in the oranges are really going to help it not oxidize, but you want it to get a fine coating of some corn flour just to hold everything subtly well together. So about three tablespoons of corn flour going in, 
and you just toss it again with some spice. So technically, and it's not rocket science every time with apples you use cinnamon, but go off the beaten track with some nutmeg. So about one four teaspoon of nutmeg and you have a perfect dessert, calling it spring but ushering in the summer as well. Now while technically into this fruit emulsion, you can add some orange liqueur, but since I'm using that gorgeous whiskey orange sauce that Inca gave me, I'm just going to let this be just like this. And finally, the wet sand crumble or the crisp that's going to just get nice and crunchy goes on top. So you scatter it and allow it to go into all the crevices of this gorgeous dessert. I don't think any dessert can get as simple as this. Just give it a slight pat, not too much because you want it to have that level of aeration as everything cooks in perfect harmony. Now this goes into a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Higher the temperature, more stable the crisp. Higher. The best part about this gorgeous dessert is that summery overtones that citrusy fruit bring to your entire kitchen. The scents are sharp and pronounced and this is ready. The best, best way to know that your dessert is spot on accurate is when it gets those little golden specks on top and the syrupy goodness from within slightly escalates to the top. Enjoy this dessert either with some fresh whipped cream and English custard sauce or like me, the orange whiskey emulsion. Who would have ever thought that nutmeg pairs gorgeously well with orange and apples, have a nice crisp on top and you have a perfect, perfect dessert to usher in the summery overtones. Have it either hot, fresh out of the oven with a light sauce or just go right ahead, chill it and have it perfectly cold with a vanilla ice cream. I like to mix and match and create various different styles and commutations of the same. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button and as always, don't forget to subscribe.